Hello students, welcome to our channel GVS Physics. Today we are going to discuss J main question from a chapter Laws of Motion April Atom. So we are going to discuss all the question in detail. So to watch more video like this, don't forget to subscribe our channel and to join in our Instagram page. So links are in the description. So let us see the questions now. We will see the first question. A body of mass 2 kg moving with the velocity of V initial is 3 i cap plus 4 j cap enters into a constant force field of 6 newton directed along positive z axis. If the body remains in the field for the period 5 by 3 second then the velocity of the body when it emerges from the force. So first we will take the given data. They have given the mass and force so that we can find the acceleration. So for that we can take Newton's law that is F is equal to Ma. So we need acceleration. So A is equal to force by M. So in the place of force we can substitute 6 Newton. Force is a vector quantity so we have to represent the direction. It is moving in a positive z axis. So we can write it as 6 k cap by mass is 2 kg. So 6 by 2 that is 3 k cap. Okay. So this is acceleration of the body. They have given the initial velocity. We will name it as u. So u is equal to 3 i cap plus 4 j cap. So they are asking the final velocity when it emerges from the force field. They have given the time so that I am going to take first equation of motion that is v is equal to u plus a t. So now we will substitute the data. In the place of u we can substitute 3 i cap plus 4 j cap plus in the place of acceleration that is 3 k cap and time is 5 by 3. So 3 3 will get cancelled balance. Final velocity v is equal to 3 i cap plus 4 j cap plus 5 k cap. So we will check the option. Option 2 is the right answer. We will see the second question. An object with mass 500 gram moves along x axis with the speed v is equal to 4 root x. The force acting on the object is. First we will take the given data. They have given the velocity equation. That is v is equal to 4 root of x. In the place of root of x I am going to substitute x power 1 by 2. So if we are differentiating velocity with respect to time we will get acceleration. But here we have velocity in the form of position. So here we have to differentiate velocity in the form of position only. So, if we are differentiating with respect to x means this will be 4, 4 is a constant balance 1 by 2 x power 1 by 2 minus 1 minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, as we know differentiating velocity with respect to time that will give the acceleration but here we do not have t. So, what I am going to do is here I am going to multiple and divide by dt and I am going to take this dt to the opposite side. So, we can reform as dv by dt is equal to so this will become 1 and this is 2 so 2 x power minus 1 by 2 we can take this dx to the opposite side so we can write it as dx by dt okay so we need acceleration acceleration is dy by dt so this is acceleration a so acceleration a is equal to 2 x power minus 1 by 2 dx by dt is a velocity fine so we know the equation for the velocity so we can substitute over here so we can write it as 4x power 1 by 2. So here it's minus 1 by 2, it's plus 1 by 2. So both will get cancelled. So 2 fours are 8. So 8 meter per second square. This is acceleration. Now we have to find the force. So force F is equal to MA. We know mass is 500 gram. We can write it as 0 0.5 kg. And acceleration is 8. So if you are calculating this means you will get it as 4 Newton. So option D is the right answer. Next one is the most important question. A body of mass 1 kg is suspended with the help of two string making an angle as shown in the figure. They are asking tension T1 and T2. First we have to resolve the equation. So there is a body of mass 1 kg. So first of all it will experience a gravitational force which is downward that is mg. And next one we have two tension that is T1 and T2. So tension is a vector quantity. The vector at which it makes an angle theta that you call it as cos theta. Is it okay? So here you have tension and at this point it makes an angle theta. So you can write this as T1 cos 60 degree and perpendicular to this, this one will be T1 sin 60. Same way we can write for tension T2. So it makes an angle 30. So this is T2 cos 30 and perpendicular to this, this will be T2 sin 
30. Okay, so the object is at rest so that net force goes to 0. That means both the side the forces are equal. So we can equate it. So first we will uh, see in the horizontal direction that is T1 cos 60 degree is equal to T2 cos 30 degree. So now we will substitute the value T1 cos 60 is 1 by 2 that is equal to T2 cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So 2, 2 will get cancelled. So we can write it as T1 is equal to root 3 times T2. So this is the first relation between T1 and T2. And next we can see the vertical component that is upward force is equal to the downward force. So the upward T1 sin 60 degree plus T2 sin 30 degree is equal to mg. Okay, so T1 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 plus T2 sin 30 is 1 by 2 that is equal to mass they have given it as 1. So 1 and G we can take it as 10. Okay, so here 2 is common we can take to the opposite side. So root 3 T1 plus T2 is equal to 20. Okay, so we know what is T1 so we can substitute in this equation. So root 3 in the place of t1 we can substitute root 3 t2 plus t2 is equal to 20 root 3 root 3 will become 3 so 3 t2 plus t2 is equal to 20 that is 4 t2 is equal to 20 so if i cancelling it means we will get it as this is 1 and 5 so tension t2 is 5 newton okay so we got the value for t2 now we can substitute in this equation that is T1 is equal to root 3 into 5. That is T1 is equal to 5 root 3 Newton. Okay, so this is T1. So we check the option T1 is 5 root 3 and T2 is 5. Option 2 is the right answer. Next question, it also has the same pattern. A 1 kg mass is suspended from the ceiling by a rope of length 4 meter. A horizontal force F is applied at the midpoint of rope. So this is the horizontal force applied at the midpoint. Because of that, it makes an angle 45 degree. They are asking the value of force that is F. Okay. So first of all, we will resolve the components. So here we have 1 kg mass. So it will experience the gravitation force downward. So the formula for the gravitation force is mg. So here we can write it as 1 into g. Okay. And next one is tension. Tension T1 makes an angle theta 45 degree. So we can take this as T1 cos 45 and perpendicular to this, this will become T1 sin 45. So the system is in equilibrium that is everything is at rest. So we can balance the equation. So this side force F is equal to T1 sin 45 degree and the mass has the gravitation force which is 1g. 1g is equal to t1 cos 45 degree okay so we need force so i'm gonna divide this both the equation so t1 t1 will get cancelled sine by cos that will become tan so tan 45 degree is equal to f by 1g g we can take it as 10 tan 45 is 1 so we can take 10 to the opposite side so force is 10 newton so we can check the option option b is the right answer so next one it's a most important question a body of mass m is suspended by two string makes an angle theta 1 and theta 2 with a horizontal ceiling with tension t1 and t2 so now we have to draw the diagram let us consider this is the ceiling okay so now we have two strings okay it's connected to an object which has mass m okay and first string makes an angle theta 1 with the horizontal so this is theta 1 and this is theta 2 and it has tension T1 and this has tension T2. Okay, so they have given the relation between T1 and T2 that is T1 is equal to root 3 times T2 and we have to find the angle theta 1 and theta 2 and we have to find tension T2. Okay, so first we'll take the forces applied on the object. So it will have a gravitation force which is acting downward that is mg. Okay, so next one. If this makes an angle theta 1, this also will be theta 1. And tension makes an angle theta 1. So this is T1 cos theta 1. And perpendicular to this, this will become T1 sin theta 1. Okay. So same way, if this is theta 2, this also will be theta 2. And this is T2 cos theta 2. And perpendicular to this, 
this will become t2 sin theta 2. So the system is in equilibrium so we can equate the conditions that is following forces. So first one horizontal that is t1 cos theta 1 is equal to t2 cos theta 2. Okay. Next one this is the first relation. Second one in the vertical direction that is t1 sin theta 1 plus t2 sin theta 2 is equal to gravitation force mg that is equation number 2. Okay. So now we got the equation. So now we have to apply all the options condition in the equations. So the option which satisfy this equation that's a correct answer. So I will start from option D. So for option D okay. So theta 1 is 60 degree and theta 2 is 30 degree. So we will substitute in this condition. So first one T1 cos 60 is 1 by 2 that is equal to T2 cos 30 is root 3 by 2. 2 2 will get cancelled. So T1 is equal to root 3 times T2 okay. So it satisfies the condition which given in the question. Same way we can check for the second equation that is T1 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 plus T2 and sin 30 is 1 by 2 that is equal to mg. So 2 is common we can take to the opposite side and we know what is T1 we can substitute this condition. So first I am going to take root 3 T1 plus T2 is equal to I am going to take this 2 to the opposite side so 2 mg. So now we can substitute T1 so root 3 in the place of T1 again root 3 T2 plus T2 is equal to 2 mg okay. So root 3 root 3 will become 3. So 3 T2 plus T2 is equal to 2 mg. So that is 4. So 4 T2 is equal to 2 mg. So if you cancel this means this will be 1 and 2. So we can write T2 is equal to mg by 2. So it satisfies the condition. So option D is the right answer. So we will see the last question. A cubic block of mass m slides down on an inclined plane at 60 degree with the acceleration g by 2. The value of coefficient of kinetic friction is. So let us consider this is an inclined plane makes an angle 60 degree. So you have a block of mass m. So first we have to write the forces which is acting on the block. So first one it will be a gravitation force which is acting downward that is mg and it is a surface. So the normal will be perpendicular to the surface and also it makes an angle theta. So the theta is 60 degree. So gravitation force mg makes an angle theta. So this will be mg cos 60 degree and perpendicular to this, this is mg sin 60 degree. Okay. So next one it's a rough surface so there will be friction acting on it. So it will oppose the motion so the friction force will be against it. So this will be a kinetic friction. The acceleration of the block that is A is equal to G by 2. So now we have to find the kinetic friction. So the formula for kinetic friction, kinetic friction is coefficient of kinetic friction into normal and normal opposite to the normal we have mg cos theta so we can write normal n is equal to mg cos 60 degree we know what is cos 60 which is 1 by 2 so we can substitute as mg by 2 okay so now we'll substitute in the kinetic friction kinetic friction is coefficient of kinetic friction which you have to find in the place of normal we can substitute mg by 2 okay now we can write the equation so the object is sliding down so f net is equal to so along with the object you have the gravitation force which is mg sin 60 so the friction force opposes the motion so minus kinetic friction okay so now we can substitute the value so we can write f net as m a so m a is equal to mg sin 60 is root 3 by 2 minus kinetic friction is coefficient of kinetic mg by 2. So we can take mg as common. So ma is equal to mg by 2 is common balance root 3 minus mu k. Okay. So mm will get cancelled. The acceleration we have given it as g by 2. So we can substitute as g by 2. So g by 2 is equal to g by 2 into root 3 minus mu k. Okay. So the both the term will get cancelled. So this will be 1. 1 is equal to root 3 minus mu k. So we can reform the equation. So we can take mu k to the opposite side. 
so that will become root 3 minus 1 so root 3 minus 1 we can check the option option 1 is the right answer okay students we have reached the end of the session so if you have any doubts or queries regarding this video please to comment it and to watch more video like this like and subscribe our channel thank you students